Waffle House. Hello, how you doing? Waffle what House. What the heck? Are you here to go? What's up guys i hope that your day is going good i hope that it is filled with positivity and i hope it's going your way i'm in my usual setting if you couldn't tell uh, i just left waffle house this is great actually it's a shame we don't have them in texas well we don't have them in my part of texas we need one because IHOP is, is, I'm not complaining, but IHOP is subpar. Waffle House is just, for those of you who've eaten at Waffle House, you know it's just <laughs> from the late night entertainment to the food to the the atmosphere. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. But anyway, I wanted to just talk about holding space for for others just for a brief a brief uh second momentarily i just just want to talk about holding space and why i think it's so it's so imperative what is holding space what is holding space for others what does it mean what does it look like what does it feel like I think I'm going to take one of these out because I don't know how loud I'm talking. I don't want to be yelling, but I think essentially holding space for others is being attentive, conscious, aware of not only what they're saying, but on an energetic level, uh, maybe empathically, if you will, if that's a word, empathically being in tune with what they're saying right most of us and I'm guilty of this myself whenever we whenever we talk with someone or someone is t telling us something important or something about their lives we tip we typically uh, will be on our phones and just kind of like mm -hmm. oh yeah really oh man that's crazy oh really yeah mm -hmm. right we kind of we're not really conscious of what they're saying we hear them right we hear them but we don't we don't actually sit and listen to what they're saying. And again, I'm guilty of this myself. I think it's very, it can be a bit rude. Uh, I think so. A bit rude to sit there and not actively listen to what someone is saying. Because people want to vent nowadays. Lord knows I have to, to my close friends, right? People want to vent right at the end of the day deep down people want to be heard they want to have a voice they want to know that someone is in the corner they want to be relatable they want a friend maybe not a friend but just someone who can hear them out someone who understands and someone to listen and when you're sitting there and you're on your phone or you're not really paying attention attention to what they're saying it can feel as though they're not being heard well, at least in my case, I can't speak for everybody, but this is just what I feel, right? This is what I think. When you hold space for someone, you allow them to come to you as raw as they are, right? And to actively listen, right? You're not on your phone. Doesn't mean you have to look them in the eye per se, but actively consciously listening and, and being in tune with what they're saying not to give like a, a quick answer or a quick like okay it'll be fine right not to brush it off not to act like it doesn't exist but to cognitively be aware of it right I just had a friend tell me yesterday that his aunt just got admitted into the uh, psych ward because she was 
um, attempting suicide. Her daughter walked in. Um, her daughter walked in on her with a gun. And he's very, very close with this aunt. He told me out his own mouth that he was closer to her than his own mom. And so it was kind of affecting him, I could tell. He, he disclosed that she, she had never done anything like this before. Like she had never, he had never known her to be in such a dark spot, if you will, to want to, to commit suicide. And he had just talked to her, I think Tuesday night. And she did this, I think on Thanksgiving, or I think it was, I think it was Wednesday, maybe night. Um, that her daughter had walked in but they admitted her and so I say that to say you never know what someone is going through just because you see someone physically happy you see them smiling you see them laughing you see them talking you never know what what's going on internally right they can have a, a chaotic mind but just not showing it on the surface right and he told me that today he was going to go drive out there um, he, in Texas, too. He's going to drive out there to see to see his aunt because he wanted to lay eyes on her and pray for her and, and talk with her. But it just had me thinking, like, man, you know, we really should hold space for people and allow them to just be right with a non judgmental ear, not trying to change their opinion, not trying to tell them what to do. Right. Of course, if they ask, if they ask for advice, right, offer up advice, but just hold that space for them to be, for them to be heard, for them to know that someone is in their corner, even if you don't agree with it. Right. Because it's, it's important. It's important. Um, I pray that if you're going through something right now, whatever it is, I I pray that you have that that friend, you know, you have that, that person that'll listen. You have that that Allos Palakletos, uh Greek Allos, meaning a friend, a guidance, a counselor, someone who can help guide you, someone you can vent to, talk to, right? And this is something that I I really want to stress because um, if I'll be honest with you guys, it's almost, this would be hard for me to say, but, um, I've, I've attempted, I've attempted suicide twice, but have thought about it at least four times. Uh, in my earlier days well earlier days as in anywhere from three to six years ago and luckily I had someone there to listen to me and help me through it but it was a very rough patch in my life that I would not discuss here but I just had a friend tell me that they started therapy I've had two friends in the past week uh, told me that they've started therapy and I'm thinking about it myself again talking to you guys is very therapeutic for me which is why I do it but I've thought about it myself because again we want somebody to talk to life is is unpredictable and you know trying to hold it all in right hold all of this in sometimes can just be too much it can be just a burden honestly it can be and actually healing that that child inside of you healing that inner child right and actually giving yourself permission to to feel giving yourself permission to go through the process is important and that includes talking with someone Right. I'm also here for you guys. If you guys would like to vent, if you guys would like to talk, I'm here. 
I will leave my information in the description so you can get in contact with me. But I'm always here. I'm always here to hear anybody out because I know what it is. I, I don't know your situation personally, but I know what it is to go through so much uh, pain, if you will, to feel like this existence is just too much. You would rather not be here. You would rather self-delete. So with that being said, guys, if you'd like to talk, I will leave in the description below. But yeah, hold space for others. It's important. Okay? Ramen. Of course. Naturally. I feel like I eat ramen like three times a week. <laughs> How do you say it? Hokiado? Hokiado Ramen House? Ooh, like this spot. Pretty cool. You, uh, they got one piece on the wall? Okay, hold up. So I'm at my family's like dance party thing. Um, I'm not drinking, like I said, I'm not. Uh, as you saw before, I'm drinking my uh, like this vegan energy drink. Uh, and I'm designated driver, so of course I'm definitely not drinking. Um, I will be honest with you guys, I did have one, one sweet, one sweet today. Um, I shared a, a cookie with my uh, with my friend. Uh, that's the only sweet I have. I told you guys I'd be honest, so there's that. But so good so far. No cravings, no anything else. Uh, just water and energy drink tonight. So I'm gonna head back in and uh, yeah, it should be fun. I am super swamped, guys. It's uh, it's like midnight. It's raining outside. If you couldn't see, so I'm about to head in for the night. But I'll uh, whoa, that was almost a wreck. I'll see you guys later. Um, let me get out of this parking lot. I'm pretty beat. All right, bye. Good night. <laughs>